Howdy happy campers, JT here, and it's another fine day out here in southwest Oklahoma. No need to waste time showing you my ugly mug, but as always, I just want to pass on to other Toyota RAV4 Prime owners like myself, and even just RAV4 hybrid owners in general, this particular issue that could, could affect your vehicle. I want to keep my Prime as long as possible, but this headline says it all right there all right now keep in mind what you're reading uh again this guy is in a 2019 rav4 hybrid with probably a gazillion videos out there about the fantastic features of owning a rav4 prime no one hardly talks bad about it keep in mind i'm not a mechanic or rocket science this in any way. So remember what I said, could affect you, your vehicle. Let me show you first exactly where and what it looks like on my 2021 Toyota RAV4 Prime. Right there. just going to show you here keep in mind I st the cover is still there I didn't take it off but you can just eyeball it and look at it so you don't need to uh, take this off to see whether it could be corroded well actually it's not that hard to take it off so go ahead if you can now basically from what i've read here and again i'm not going to insult your intelligence as you can see that's the corrosion that they're referring to it looks nasty there's a very possible scenario that might happen to your vehicle the hybrid the prime okay should the high voltage area cable gate which is right here that area if it becomes extremely corroded to put it bluntly your hybrid system can fail seems to be there's some kind of design flaw either hidden or not sufficiently voiced by owners to warrant a toyota permanent permanent fix supposed to be ongoing this one is dated may 26 2022 from what i've read basically according to this if the vehicle has less than three years or 36,000 miles, meaning out of its basic warranty, the problem is discovered, it can warrant a replacement. But if it is outside the basic warranty, the money is going to come out of your pocket. And it, that's quite a bit. You can read it for yourself right here. Again, I'll post a link to this so you can read it more in depth. I just want to share it real quick without insulting your intelligence, reading it all to you. These problems seem to be occurring or started off anyway in Canada. For some reason, maybe it's filtering down here. This one is September 27, 2022. I haven't seen too much in the States, but again, this seems to be coming down from Canada. I have no idea why. Maybe it's the way the roads are salted or the conditions there are worse than here in the United States. Again, I'm not here to knock down the Prime. It is one super efficient vehicle. And I really enjoy mine and I'm glad I bought it. I'm in the Oklahoma area, meaning that it's generally flat. Really not much of the salty corrosion causing junk on the road during the winter months to probably affect my prime. But for you happy campers out there on the East Coast or areas where they saturate the road with salt, brine, sand, whatever, just to help the drivers on the road, it can escalate the deterioration and corrosion of the cable gate area where the high voltage is located on your vehicle right here
So, should you go into panic mode and sell your nice Toyota RAV4 Prime hybrid like the one I have here? That's up to you. For about half an hour, I thought about it. And then I considered my particular circumstances and came to the following conclusions. One, yes, there is a cable gate issue. Two, I live in a relatively not heavily snowed and salted area. Three, I keep my Angel Prime garage kept every night. Four, I do not take my Prime out there on the Ponderosa summer, deep sea diving, road rallies in any mud pits. Five, winter here is manageable and not like 11 feet high in the Northeast area. And most of all, I maintain and keep an eye out on my Angel. And that's the reason I will not resell my Angel here or get any other type of plug-in hybrid. Your particular situation and area might be different, so factor all that in and the possible outcomes that may occur. Well, that's about it, boys and girls. For all I know, within the next year, Toyota might be bombarded by a million customer complaints about this cable gate issue and maybe extend some kind of warranty or repair. Until then, everything that you do is all up to you. Oh, in case you're interested, the JBL speaker replacement video is up next at bat. Until then, thank you for watching, take care, stay safe, and God bless. Here to give you another better view of it underneath. That's what it looks like. Now, there's some out there people getting or thinking about doing other things. For example, this area, some I've heard on the online forum, putting under coating on there, spraying or painting it or covering in some way, modifying, putting a hole under it here. Do not. Well, it's your vehicle, but I would recommend that you do not modified in any way why think about it if they think you modified it in some way that could void the warranty or say you're the one that caused that problem so don't do any of that just leave it be and bring it to their attention here's one solution uh this gentleman Hugo Trepreneur put up cable gate possible solution I would not Feel good going under there messing with high voltage electrical wires but that's up to you again it's your vehicle there's the part here as you can see that's the same thing there I'm gonna put the links down below so you can see that now let me tell you this 